thank you for your courtesy. Kindly sit down. Uh, I have here a three-page uh, speech. Uh, I am afraid that uh, this would not be enough really to express uh, what is in my heart. You know, uh, my co-workers in government, I, I, I hate, uh, it leaves a bad taste in the mouth to be talking about corruption and uh, graft, especially among, well, at least the uh, educated and learned people, and especially so about finances and uh, money, revenues. Ayoko sana. So, uh, pero kaya lang, I am not uh, in front of an incorrigible crowd. I know that most of you are honest. Otherwise, we have not collected this uh, huge amount. <laughs> Alam ko yan. I grew up in a bureaucracy and I started as the, at that time, the seventh uh, assistant uh, city fiscal of the vow. And uh, ano rin ako, uh, uh, climbing up to the second spot, uh, eventually before I became mayor. So many years of sacrifice. And again, in that office, and every other office in government is a veritable ground for corruption. Nandiyan yan eh. And uh, it starts from the Ako, sinasabi ko sa inyo, whether you like to believe it or not, papers about transactions in government do not uh, reach my desk. I only sign appointments on security matters and keeps me busy all the time. Lahat yung mga, whatever be department, it stays there. And I have given the authority to every cabinet member to decide and to use his own talent to protect the interest of the nation. Walang uh, contract either yung mga railway, MRT, no? walang umaabot, baski tanungin man, I, and I do not call uh, cabinet members. And you can ask them, and even Cedar was uh, a good friend of mine. I have not for the life of me even called him once. Kita ko siya yung was inducted into office. And that's about it. And so it's Mr. Dolay of the BIR. Alam mo, sunny of... Uh, magtaka kayo kung bakit na... But I will answer it in full detail and with a good explanation later on. But kung bakit maraming, sabi nga nila, militarize ang... Uh, civilian bureaucracy. I will uh, give you the answer uh, maybe in the future. But for now, uh, let's just say that uh, I need them to run the government faster and more to my liking and immediately done. Uh, ito sila, they are not strangers to me. They are not my kababayans. Some of them, or most of them, are military men who, in their, during the years of their uh, in the career uh, build-up, they happen to pass by or sojourn Davao City. And because I was the chairman of the Peace and Order Council, must expanded yung rapport ko sa mga military. Hindi ko yan sila kilala noon. But nakilala ko so, for example, like Sid, he started as a second lieutenant right after his BME days. I was then uh, a vice mayor. And uh, I became mayor for 23 years. So lahat yan sila, si Koy, lahat dito, uh, Moreno. Uh, nakilala ko lang yan sila along the way in my mayorship days. 
Ang yung iba naman sila, Dolay, Belio, they were my doormates. And karamihan sa yung ano namin, sa floor namin, were all, almost all Ilocanos. Kaya karamihan na uh, puro Ilocano ang naging barkada ko. But when I was choosing the men and women to run this government, I remember them for their goodwill and honesty. The innate, basic honesty of a person. May estudyante lang kami lang, dulay na. So I could more or less uh, had a glimpse of uh, the values uh, of that persona. Sid uh, eventually became, but I chose him as uh, chief of police, then uh, the regional commander, and uh, his penultimate uh, position was that of operations of the PNP. And so with the others. Pero wala ko kami ng ano, na baka sabihin ninyo, nagpapalakas ako sa military. I've been telling the military, I do not need your personal loyalty. Far from it. Your loyalty should remain only to one specific thing. And that is the Constitution of the Republic of the Philippines. And it symbolizes it's an abstract thing, actually. Uh, no, uh, not everybody understands what's written there. But the flag represents that union. Remember that we are not uh, blood brothers. Well, as a Filipino, maybe as a race, yes. But magkakaiba-iba to. We have different, uh, well, different uh, dialects, menus, uh, idiosyncrasies, lahat. Hindi tayo magkakilala. But once upon a time, whether it was a Ford Hardly decision or not, our forefathers decided to write a constitution that binds us. Now, it might not really be the perfect constitution. As a matter of fact, it, it has uh, so much, uh, there's a room for improvement. But then again, as we continue with the nation building, which was started many, many centuries ago, we just have to make uh, something out of it during our generation. And your generation is really to take care of the next generation. That is included in our duty. Uh, to pass on the values, whether good or bad, to the next children, and maybe Pero wala na tayo doon. Ako sabi ko sa mga anak ko, hanggang anak lang ako, huwag na ninyo akong bigyan ng trabaho na to the grandchildren. Of course, I love them. But my worry is only how they would uh, live out life uh, as it is presented in this planet. Hanggang anak lang ako, sabi ko. But during my time, there are things which are really bothering us. And uh, almost uh, always to the critics, and I accept their criticism. This is a democracy. I accept their evaluation of things vis-a-vis uh, -vis with mine. I was not the one who declared drug problem as a national security threat. It was Gloria Arroyo. So from there, I don't know, but uh, I am not trying to belittle uh, Aquino, but his uh, role just uh, went by uh, para sa akin uh, in a flash. It's now past tense. Ang nagpaiwan yung uh, deadly toxic. It has reduced, and even if there's a conflict in the figure of 10,000 or 1,000 ang namatay. O sabi ko, Kay Santiago yun eh. For my PDA, it says it has reached 3 million. Kay panahon ni Bato, sabi niya 1 million for. But it is really 100. You know, it has reduced my country, some of the citizens, to slavery. They are slaves to a chemistry that is very lethal. 
And uh, for those unbelieving, the many, so many crimes and the many victims, innocent ones, rape, children, and even a six-month-old baby being raped. That could, only, that could be done by a, a crazy person. And Shabu had a great contribution to that. But when I was mayor, I said, and it was during Sid's time and the Batu, pati si Koy, they were uh, sinabi ko sa kanila. When I was mayor, I'm building a city. I am not a policeman, I am not a soldier. But do not destroy my city because I love the people and the people. You do it and I will kill you, destroy you. And that statement is, is intended for the human rights people. When I became president, I said, I am not a military man, I am not a general. I'm just an ordinary worker in government. But the uh, problem, the task is on my lap, and I have to do something about it. So sabi ko, wag mong sirain ang bayan mo. Kasi putang ina, papatayin talaga kita. Wag mong patayin ang mga anak namin. Kasi yan lang ang pag-asa nating lahat. Except for those guys who own those, yung gustong bumili ng mga yung sinira, pati yung mga brand yo doon sa Davao. Okay yan sila. They do not need government. They can buy government. They can buy their security. Buy all the things that they need. Luxury or otherwise. Aba, how about the poor people? Hindi nila kailangan ng gobyerno. Yung mga taipan dyan, they can provide for own security. They have so much money to live comfortably until kingdom come. Tayo, kayo, ako. Why are we working here? And how much do you expect to receive at the end of your productive life when you retire at the age of 65? Makano? Ako? Maybe peg to the highest salary, uh, three, four million. Justices must malaki yan sila. Ordinary empleyado. So what, one, two? Policemen. Mabuti nilang dinubli ko yung sweldo nila. Ilan pa kuha lang nila? 800,000. And they retire at the age of 56. Strong enough to pull a truck. Tapos, they wait out until they die. And at the age of 50, papasok na lahat. Diabetes, hypertension, lahat na. Kidney. Is para ito mga sundalo, halos sira ang kanilang kidney. I don't know why, but it's uh, the popular disease that they would like to acquire. All of them halos kidney, sira ang kidney. Siguro, inom dito ng tubig, yung inom doon. Baka inunom ninyo yung ginamit ng babae sa ligo niya. Hmm. Tapos, I increased the pension of the SSS, senior citizens, 1,000. Is that enough? If you get for another 10 years, would that suffice? To buy all the medicines? Who pays for your hospitalization? Who pays for your meds? Who will spoon feed you? Sino magluto sa luga mo? Sino mag... Who will wipe your body with a towel and a hot water when you are already bedridden? And you think that you can live by that pension that the government is giving. So what is the secret? The secret is we work hard, educate our children, just like my mother, 
And when she's on the sunset of her days, we take over and we take care of them. Otherwise, mga muhi ganyan. And there are people who just abandon their mother and father just like that. And even in a family of five, nobody wants to take them. Ganon ka ingrato minsan ang tao. And so itong, itong drugs na ito, it's about, palagay na natin 1,000 ba? I will not debate with, uh, wasting my time with, sabi nila 1,000, 1 million. Yung kay Bato. That one be, is, it's a joke. You have 1 million people craving for a drug to have the fix for the day. And kung walang pera, they go about killing people. Hold up dito, hold up doon. And when they go crazy, they rape children, they rape families. Tapos, uh, the latest one, a six-year-old, six-month-old child. The last killing, sabi ko, nung sa Bulacan. Inuman, it always starts with alcohol, ng siyabo. Pag siyabo yan, maghanap niya ng beer-beer, tanduway. Pag loko-loko na yan, gumangano na, they go to a house, rape the blind mother, rape the daughter-in-law, killing the 14-year-old, pati yung 1-year-old pinakialaman pa pinatay. Sino maligayahan yan? And you want me just to respond to uh, may Mayor, what can you say about the killing? It's a very stupid question. What the... So let's see, what is What is your reaction? Oh, how am I supposed to react? And you do it every day. Mahirap na yan. Diyan tayo hindi magkaintindihan. Ay, military. I, I, I'm not as... It will the military and the police and all of you. You will see to it that the Constitution is followed. That if I overstay, even for one day, you are supposed to oust me, place me under arrest for violating the Constitution. And there will never be a time that I will ask you, you prop me up as a dictator of this country. I have enough politics. I have experienced all the accolades of my life. I mean, this would be my 40th. I never lost an election. I've been elected eight times as mayor in my city. One term as a congressman, and another term of being vice mayor to my daughter, young mayor. And this... Itong pagkatapos nito, I would have served government for 40 years. Eh, itong mga gagong ito, dictator, dictator, and even the mga edukado, akala nila sila lang ang may delikadesa, sila lang ang bright, sila lang kasi ang mga nag-aral dyan sa mga... Mahirap ka. How poorly you look at your other fellow men. And you think that you are bright, pa English, English, John. Hindi ko maintindihan yung buhay. Pero, I would be happy. Tell you what. Listen to me very carefully. The only singular and sole reason why I am hurrying up the federal setup is I'm telling you now as your president na pag walang different uh, structural changes dyan sa Mindanao, the more people will go to war. And believe me, because my grandmother Si Maranao. 
He hear it talaga yan. And when the time comes, of course they have opted to remain in detox. I thank Allah for that. That there's enough uh, sense uh, left in them. But kung walang maibigay tayo, and because they were well ahead in Mindanao ang Islam by almost 90 years before Magellan came here and in our own country, under them for 400 years, plus the Americans for another 50 years. And it was at the time pagdating nila ng Americano and Espanyol, Mindanao was already Islam. So when the Americans allowed the exploitation of Mindanao, they copied the homestead style sa America. Yung go west, young man, because there's a lot of land ahead of you. Dito, we forgot that there were already the Adams and Eve there. So modern times, sabi nga ng libro, and the living past, that spirit is living past. And modern times, sabi nila that is 300, 400 years ago, ain't matter kasi sila feel that they are oppressed. The city government of the imperial Spain as the head of that government, the, the head of the tail of this government now. It has always been monopolized by the Christian. Power has been concentrated in Manila. Now, in a war, the Moro people or the different tribes there are not our enemies. They are our brother Malays. But in a war, your enemy is my friend. So the ISIS has gained a foothold in the southern part of the Philippines. It's a mix. But it has never been a question or issue of religion. It never has been. But it's turning to be an ugly one. And I think it's... Kasi nandito na. The Syrians, the Arabs, because they are the white Arabs, there are the dark Arabs, a lot of Indis, Indonesian and Malaysian terrorists there. Just waiting to... You give them the slightest reason. That's the only thing. It has nothing to do with perpetuating in power. I guarantee you, if they're able to perfect it in 2020... And if they call for an election of a president, I will step down. That is my guarantee to the Filipino me. If you can perfect the federal setup or any other kind of structure that could prevent a war, violence, bloodshed, I will go down. If they can do it in 2020, I will not wait for 2022. I will gladly step down. That is my commitment to the military, to the police, and to everybody. Yan lang. Do not listen to those idiotic, uh, mas maruno, mas akala nila may di prinsipyo kaila kay sa atin. I would not have survived 23 years as mayor, four years as a congressman, I could not have helped my children being. Yang pulong na yan. Ganito yan. Yan my son. Uh, At the age of 18, nagtanan yan with the Muslim lady whose mother was in Maranao and whose father was in Tausog. And the lady, the first wife, was only was 24 years old. Sumama yang bata at hindi na kami nakita for five years. Maybe he was brought to, but anyway, lola niya, great-grandmother niya, Maranao man rin. Went to Lanao, maybe he went to... Ang negosyo ng mga in-laws niya, yung mga jars, you ask the customs people here, pati yung mga chiefs of police, 
mga jars, mga, uh, alam mo, galing Singapore. Maybe okay, okay. At 18 years old, he learned the ropes there because he had to help. Kasi palamunin lang siya ng in-laws niya. Now, where is pulig now? Pulog now. Nasa patalian, sigurado ko. Yan ang alam niya hanap po eh. Mas sabi, uh, uh, drug. Alam niya, papatayin ko siya. Kung hindi, ipapatay ko siya. Yan ang totoo dyan. Where is he now? Where will be he tonight? Eh, pantalan yan. Yan ang hanap buhay niya eh. Pero sabi ko, huwag kang pumasok dyan sa mga karkar. Gusto mo bumili ka kung may pera ka. Kaya hindi smuggling. This has been going on. Ang history natin is for centuries na. Even the custom is more than a century old. Pero itong smuggling na ito, this kind of racket has been going on again and again and again over a period of centuries. Well, it has to stop. Ayaw kong ipagbili. Kasi kung ipagbili ko, consigned to a fictitious person, igagrahe lang ninyo yan dyan, hindi mo kayo. And when the time comes, they are sold to an auction, Yung auction dyang opisina, tatawag na rin sa isang sindikato dito. Siya lang yan. Wala man ako nabasa sa newspaper na may auction. Gusto ko rin bumili baski second hand. Wala. O maya, maya. So, auction. Then again, mag-import na naman itong mga unggoy na to. Putang ina. Huminto kayo. Huminto kayo. At least during my time, I plead to you. Total, paalis lang ako. I'm just a passing one. Four years, wala na ako. I'm not, I'm not saying the weird one. I'm addressing myself to the entire government machinery. Itong mga cabinet members, they're only allowed one month to process. The directors of this country must do it in one week. You fail to do it I'm opening a border uh, office there because uh, I would like to resume the barter trade. That's the only business that our brother Moros know how to. But uh, Dominguez wants a uh, stringent measure. Well, maybe, ano? Kung sino yung gusto magpunta doon sa hulo-sulo, magpa-assign doon, let me know. Because I'm drawing the skeletal... Uh, Diagram. Doon kayo ipa-assign. Mag-smuggle kayo doon. Kayo ang bahala na kayo doon. I will not hesitate to do it. I have fired so many. Alam mo, somebody, somebody told me, Mayor, sa panahon mo, maraming lumalabas ha. Buwan-buwan. Spending public money. So, tinignan ko. Pati itong si Marina. Nandito ba yung buang? Si Paeng, yung putang inang yan. 22 trips a year? He wants to attend every convention. Doon? My Climate Change Africa Conference na doon. May climate change sa Brazil, nandoon. May climate change sa New York, Brazil. Sa so, marami yan sila, puro climate change. Putang inang bagyo na nang pinupuwit pa yung isa, pumapasok na naman yung isa. Rumami turo hindi na tur. Man you're spending people's money. Ito isa. Sabi niya, I may standing on our prohibition. All government employees, if you travel, economic class. You want comfortable, you add if you have the money. Do not travel. Uh, mabuhay, mabuhay. You will have to explain to me. Be, be, show me the receipt that you added more to be upgraded there to them. 
Because it is not our money. Yan ang mahirap dyan. So we take the cheapest. What is the way to it? Well, ganun. Travel, travel. First class, first class. Mabuhay. That's the, that's the thing. That's the, how to do it. Masabihin mo na oh, para namang hindi dumaan ng God. Kaya nga eh, I'm asking only for years. Maybe I too am guilty about it. Eh kung pat-presidente na ako ngayon, I carry the burden of, wag na yung mga moral niya. I carry the burden of the trust of the people. Work with me only for three years. Papatapos na yan eh. It's eating the, the fourth year now of my term. Just give us a respect of about four years. Okay na ako, bahala na pagkatapos. But in my time, I was talking to Davao, uh, the Japanese uh, ambassador. Sa Davao, ako pick up lang. Paski dito pick up lang. Ngayon mga taga-Davao alam na yan. Pero yung mga taga-Davao, kasi nagmamagadang loob yung Japan. Uh, Japan wants to help us also. Give us uh, 26 Monteros Mitsubishi. Sabi ko sa mga polis, Hoy! Kasi ako, hindi ako barat. Hindi ako kumabili ng yung mga lowest bid, lowest. I do not believe in that shit. Yang lowest bid, that is has been the source of government corruption all this year. Alam nang kuwayan, and there was a statement by Congress na we cannot all together remove. I will not obey you and even the kuwa. Lahat ng projects will be on turnkey. Oh, parang Swiss challenge. Ito, I'm building this mega structure. You want it? Build it for me. We just follow the specification. Because at the end of the day, it's the delivery. May hindi maganda dyan. Hindi kita bayaran. Worse, I would expropriate it and I'll just give you token amount. Yeah. Louis, there's a group here in the Philippines just going around playing golf. And just hearing... Kung sino may siyudad na may bidding. Yung grupo na yan, yung legitimate mag-bid na ganong amount. 100 million, ito yung amin offer. 95. Mag-dive itong mga unggoy na to, pababa. Kunwari, pababa rin siya, pababa. So, it's always, so a government project with 100,000, if you build it for only, I'll pay you something like 60. Mananalo ka talaga. So, magkati-hati yung mga gagong yan. That is very good. May kasama mga babae. Kilala ko. Gusto ko ang patayin ang mga... One of these days, mapaambos yan. Kaya lang ko, nandoon sa table nila. Kasi magaganda yung babae nila. So, pinapatulan ko. Yung babae kinakausap po, hindi sila. Yan ang mga gagong yan. So, yung mga parang lipstick. After uh, one or two thunderstorms, wala na. Unsafe. Magbigay sa office of the president. Kung hindi ang presidente yung korap, ang tao. Tapos magbigay pa sa goberno. Magbigay pa sa mayor. Magbigay pa sa congressman. Magbigay pa doon sa barangay captain ang putang ina niya. Ako kung bakit, pati barangay captain magperma sa completion sa project. Maghingi yan. So, ilan na lang naiwan para sa project? About a third or a half. So, you get this lousy thing. Ngayon ko, if Kua will insist on that, my, you, you, you can charge me. Kasi, you know very well, uh, Commission on Audit, Patay kayong ombudsman, that, that process of Louis Bid. 
corrupts everybody there. So yun lang. Kaya yung polis sinabi ko. Kasi yung nagbibili ako isuso Toyota. And they are still there. Yung binili kong mayor ako, dinagdagan pa ng Japanese government. Kasi yung nabili ko yan, ayun ko kung kaninong panahon yun. Nagbili ako ng mga Hilux. Tarantadong polis na ito, misyal. Gidraiban, lasig, bidugo. Natumba ngayon sa pagtingin ko. One, one week old lang yung Toyota na... na Sinaw pa mas yan, no? Ano ba sinaw sa Tagalog? Kasi itong mga Tagalog ayaw mag-aral ng Bisaya, mga buwang. Makintab pa masyado paglabas. Ako pa nagsama doon sa... Kita ko, nasira. Gusto kong umiyak. Talagang napaiyak ako. Eh, Siyempre, mayor ka. Ang ganda yung sakyan. Ito, tarantadong polis na to. Kaya nung nagpunta yung ano, dineliver for Romontero, hindi nabutan, malas kayo. Uh, Japanese assistance. May sinabi ako sa kanila. Pero ang eager beaver naman, ang mga tao ko sumubra. May, pahingi nga ng ano? Pahingi na nung pamplet na ginawa ninyo? Pero this is not intended Again, uh, mga kapatid kong uh, salam alaikum, hindi ito para sa inyo. Pero ang litratong ginamit kasi ng tumbong na ito, ito si Bong, apo ito sa biggest printing press outside of Manila. Alam mo yung mga tagadabaw, yung tesoro ng UM. Manila yan. Hindi na, hindi na kailangan magnagaw ng prigit yan. Mayate na yan eh. Kaya sabi ko nga, there was a talk. Sinabi sa kanya, you'll be called to testify. Sabi ko, that is your golden opportunity para mga senador ka. So atan tumakbo ng senador. Si Bato, gusto rin mag-governor. Saan si Panelo? Isa pa rin yun, artista. <laughs> ito, printing press niya ito. Sinabi ko, I was talking about, not only about cars, sisirain nila. You take care of that. Because ang sekreto is maintenance. So sayang naman, in front of the Japanese ambassador said, make it last. Uh, ordinary wear and tear. Kaya sabi ko, hoy kayo, hoy, ginig kayo ha. Puro na. Sinabi ko, wag, do not do foolish thing. And I said, not during my watch. Wag sa panahon ko. So those were catchy words, but it was just a uh, spur of the moment. O, tingnan mo ang ginawa. Oh. Ang samarawi tuloy, baka sabihin ng mga muro, hoy, hindi kayo kasali. Kata kung tarantado kayo, kasali talaga kayo. Ayan. Pero hindi ko ito na-distribute. Binibigay ko lang sa... Pag pinagalang kita nito, ibig sabihin, kandidato ka na sa... <laughs> Extra judicial killing. I just leave one for... Lagay ko yan sa ano. And uh, Billy is here. I mean no offense. Customs. Ito yung mga tradisyonal ano yan. Fortunately, kayo, parang kita nila easy money. At alam mo kung bakit. Nung, na, nung mayor pa ako, magparecommend, pa-endorse, ngayong presidente ako, pati, pati, yung, pati yung mga supporters ko, o sige, bayan tayo ng utang na loob eh. Saan mo gusto? Sa custom, sir? Ay. Pagyan, pagyan ang lumabas sa bunga nga ako, pasensya ka. Pagyan, you, 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 sa, saan gusto mo? Sir, sa BIR, sir. Tapos. 
Ang totoo niyan, prangkahan ko kayo. Maglibot ka any town, any municipality. Huwag lang kayong ma-insulto. I might be a product of your toil. Not all of you are corrupt. Please believe me. Not all of you are without morality. Pero baski doon sa Davao, maghanap po ng mga gandang bahay is the BIR and the customers. That's the sad part of it. I hate to say it because it leaves a bad taste in town. Kaya ako, kung if they are not the incorrigible one, so palampasin mo lang. Kung ikaw yung bato-bato sa langit, tamaan or magalit, I'm just echoing and re-echoing the 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 deep-seated sentiment of the people. So, yan lang ang ang problema kasi ang nagsulat nito mukhang nandito. Kahiya naman kung hindi ko basahin. Just give me about uh, one and a half minute and I'll be through. I'll just read the speech. Ito yung pang-formal. Ito yung isa. First, pang-mura yun. Ano? I greet the Bureau of Customs on the occasion of its 160th anniversary today. It has been a long and challenging journey for the agency as it strove to curb customs fraud, facility trade through effective customs management system. However much uh, remains to be done, the BOC needs to improve its overall revenue collection to meet its target so that the government will have more funds for its priority development program. Now, putulin ko muna. What happens now to the, the breeder? Yung winasak. Uh, may value pa ba yan, ma'am? Is there still a value? Kasi magamit pa. Kasi just make me a rough computation. Uh, a true and correct, ano, rap lang. Ngayon ba, without uh, looking into the papers, how much it is? Kasi ang order ko kay DILG Secretary, pati kay, I don't know the other one, sabi ko, ibigay ninyo sa tiga pabili ng bakal. At least, hindi sila maka, makakotse ng ganon. Pero baka may kuha pa sila doon, ano, laro, laruan na na. <laughs> Kawa naman. So, I will pay. If there's a liability there, I will pay. Para walang, ano. I know that there's still, uh, however low, or however uh, small, it's still a thing of value. So just make me a computation. Walang problema, ako ang magbayad. Uh, Ipa-distribute ko na ngayon. Pakuha ko siguro sa polis. Uh, oh, uh, General Anyo would uh, take care of it. Uh, puro yan sila general ngayon sa... Marami sa cabinet ko, uh, we are uh, shadowed by all halos military men. At uh, karamihan sa kanila, puro Ilocano. Kaming mga Bisaya dyan, dalawa na lang siguro. Pag mag-retire pa ito, si Bato, pati si... Sino mag-retire? Baka... Maghunta na lang siguro kayo. Okay naman. Ha? And I will... Do not fight it out. You want me out? Tell me. Wala akong takot-takotin dyan na magkulit-takot. You just tell me. Mayor, gusto namin mag-take over. O sige. Wala kayo dito. O, there. There. Sekretari Esperon, Peña, si si John Anio, Bato, oh raise your right hands. We, we, the members of the Junta, members of the Junta, of the APPB, now officially takes over the reign, and we will solve all corruption. Lahat. At we will... Uh, Kaligaya ko na lang. 
Bakit kayo maging pag-away sa akin? Ang patay ninyo, sundalo rin. Patay ninyo, mga mista ninyo. E puro man. Kalukuhan. Basta kung gusto niyo, kasi ako naghanap lang rin ng rason. If you provide me the reason, oh, babay. Wala kayo dyan. Total pakibigan man tayo. Why do you have to fuck with kudita, kudita? Rubukang. Inyo na yan. Uwi na ako sa amin. So, yan ang garanti. No dictatorships. No extension. Ready to abbreviate my term as early as if you can get to it in 2020. Fine. No more mountains to climb. No more challenges to meet. I'm done. Naku, binigay na sa akin ang Panginoong Diyos. May isa lang na sabi ko, nagpe-pray ako, God, please extend. Sabi ng Diyos, akala ko ba ayaw mo na extension? Hindi o sa pwesto. Alam mo na, Sabi niya, hoy, Duterte, putang ina mo. Sibintito ka na. Matulog ka na lang ng maaga. Sabi ko, extend, Lord, yun, extend ba? Sabi na, putang ina, kala ko ba ayaw mo? Yung, yung ibang extend. Sabi niya, Ilang tanga? Ilang tanga ka na? Ibas 22. Magdasal ka na lang. No more. No more extension. Marami dito. Balot lang. Naman ko ito si... Kami ito ang Dominguez, classmate ko ito. Kababata ko na ito, classmate ko pa. Siya yung, ayaw niya aminin na yan, valediktorya namin. From kindergarten to apoy. Ako, 75 lang. Took me seven years to finish high school. Matatapos na yan sila, ako nagpaiwan. Sa law, 26, 27. Agire, kum law de yan. Pero naubos ang buhok sa kakaaral. Tugadi, valediktorya niyan. Agire, kum law de yata. Magna. Lahat dyan sila yung classmate ko. Dennis, tanin ko. Oh, baka nang isa ka pa dyan. Ito, isa rin yan. Ingan sa klase. Ah, napalibutan ako dyan. Ano. Well, you know, the guy who was criticizing about the passport last night. What a chance to do it. But uh, I was wondering, say, well, take care of it. And, uh, no, he lied to Congress and he's, he's gone. And, and uh, I don't know what he's talking about. Kaya ko nilagay kita dyan kasi sabi ko, sold mo. Anyway. Puro mga balidikon. Yasay is the son of a ministro, pastor. Kaya when he talks, uh, talagang perfect English. Oxford ang ano niyan. Ayaw ko. Nakapunta ng Oxford ko, ayawang ko. Pagkaalam ko niyan, fugitive yan. Kasi hinahanap ng military yan noong 19, 1972 bats kami. So I'm surrounded with uh, Valedictorian, Anya is very good. And Danaro went to school outside. Saan ka nag-aaral? Australia. Australia boss. Australian graduate ito. Ito, Davao City, elementary school lang. Pero, sad to say. Just like the military. Sad to say. With all the military, with all the valedictorians and military people, Lorenzana is right. 
He's the, the valedictorian. Totoo yan. Sabi ni Kibuloy, Kibuloy ba, pastor? Sabi niya, he was a classmate sa Notre Dame. Si Delphine, pikit yan ko tabato. He was their valedictorian. For all of this, uh, mga valedictorian, mga guapo, mga foresight, minsan, uh, bili, very consistent. Magtingin ako sa kanila ngayon, mga trabahante kung mula itong yawa na ito. <laughs> they all work for the 75. So, yung anak ninyo mag-75 sa hayaan lang ninyo. In the long run, isa sa mga anak ninyo maging presidente. Tignan ninyo. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much, Mr. President, for your inspiring message. At this